Hello everyone, this is Louis 5 and welcome to the Cobra Command Central Toy Review. Today we'll be looking at the G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra on the City Strike Snake Eyes, also known as the Resolute Snake Eyes, because Hasbro thought it would be a good idea to chuck the Resolute figure into the Rise of Cobra toy line, which is a good idea, thank God, because there are two things that I'm grateful. First, it's available in the Rise of Cobra line. Second, it's not a repaint. It's exactly the same figure as the Resolute figure. Now, however, it's available in the US uh, in a lot of Toy Us department stores. Problem is, it's not quite readily available in Malaysia, especially in Kuala Lumpur, because only like one Toy Us store actually stocked this, and they only came out with two figures. So a lot of fans didn't manage to get this figure. And I have to resort mine to get it in eBay. <clears throat> and hence why I do the review now. Now, in the packaging itself, like the Rise of Cobra, the Joes will have the green background and the black background. Well, the Cobra will have the red background with black. And here we have Snake Eyes here on one side, a nice little artwork, very detailed artwork on one side. And here we have Snake Eyes surrounded with a lot of accessories. Katana, there's a sword sheath, there's a HNK-36 assault rifle, some sort of submachine gun which I can't rec recognize. There's a combat knife, either it's a globe or a 5.7 pistol, I have no idea. A man pouch that's stuck to his back. Two snowshoes, or what may look like a snowshoes, and no missile launcher, but is replaced by a backpack with this. Uh, is attached with this string from one end to the other, and each of the string itself is also attached with a grappling hook, so you can scale snake eyes to one table to another or one wall to another one, and the base stand is below somewhere now. This pack is actually I mean, this figure is actually the last final wave for the rise of cobra wave five so you can see at the bottom here there's no introduction on the other toys because the rise of cobra ended at wave five and they are now focusing on pursuit of cobra so at the bottom here is being replaced by general hong with a transmission on one side you got a nice little file card on one side here and a little bio on what's gi joe really about so without further ado let's take out this figure out so i can molest it be right back and we're back after removing the figure and the rest of the accessories out from the packaging now let's take a look at this one particular item well actually it's a catalog I was quite surprised that it came with a really large piece of a catalog. Sorry for the light reflecting. <laughs> and the folded paper. It's really hard to see with this paper being folded up like this. It must be in the package for a long time. On the other side is the two 12 inch figures, or really lame 12 inch figures, of Snake Eyes trying to chop Storm Shadow. And he's trying to deflect the katana using the chain of his nunchuck. Now, I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure if that's gonna deflect and block the sword strike or not. Yeah, <laughs> most likely it's gonna break, right? Now, for the Resolute Snake Eyes, or the Sea Strike, uh, strike Snake Eyes, it doesn't come with a missile launcher, it comes with this backpack connected with a long piece of string. Now, each side of the string has a grappling hook. You're supposed to strap it on. There's a wow, it's all over the damn place. There's a peg there, you can see. You strap it on and you hook the, the grappling hook on one end, the top piece, and to the bottom piece, or from one table to another. And you can scale from one side to the other. I like the backpack, I just don't like the grappling hook and the strings. So I might as well cut this too just to do a little bit of custom I really like the backpack it makes it nice nice addition to the accessories next we have the snowshoes you see there's pegs there so the figure's feet can plug into it problem is it doesn't have any holes at the bottom so 
you already have a base stand with pegs so there's no way in how you can stand on it without falling all over the place and speaking of the base stand as always uh, this is a dog tag base stand and on the bottom part you see the Joe symbol problem with this base, base stand is that the pegs are so small even our snake eyes here have problem trying to balance himself without tipping over like a five-year-old on ice then we have a well it looks like a pouch but it's a backpack you're supposed to place it at the back like so really small backpack then we have the sword sheath and the katana sword where you can see one's place inside the other side of the sword sheath itself is not covered and quite flimsy too even the sword is flimsy then it comes with a combat knife I have like 10 over of this combat knife laying into the box a cloak or a, a beretta I think it will be a beretta or 5-7 you know I really can't tell a submachine gun which I have no idea what it is problem with this submachine gun is it doesn't fit on his left hand the left hand is it can fit but it's a bit loose it fits better on the other hand because it's tighter the grip is much much more tighter you've got the HNK G36 assault rifle which fits perfectly on his left hand ironically and that's all the accessories now let's take a look at the figure figure itself looks really nice you got grey light grey black dark grey colors oh and let's not forget red here the Araski Kage Ninja Clan symbol on the right arm at the upper bicep there really nice blend of colors makes him look like a freaking ninja the details are quite nice on his face looks like he's wearing a some sort of uh, I'm not too sure how you call this on the bottom um, I'll call it a mask god damn he wears a goggles really nice touch and the bottom part of the boots here the shin here on the side itself you got the straps and it's painted in silver but not really bright in color it's a very subtle paint job at least there's some details there very nicely done knee pad even the boots itself is three types of colors really nicely done got straps all over his body strap uh, straps and pouch here strap on his shoulder very nicely done articulation wise you can turn the head 360 degrees pivot the head up and down like so pivot the body back and forth a little bit turn the torso tip 360 degrees turn the arms 360 degrees and spread the arms all the way up like so elbow joint can bend and turn left and right can't turn 360 degrees or bend to the uh, to the back because it's hindered by the elbow pad there wrist articulation 360 degrees leg articulation on the hips really nice bent all the way down it doesn't spread very far which is very nice double jointed knee but due to the size of the tie it's really big and ankle joint can pivot downwards upwards a little bit and turn 360 degrees overall he is my favorite character he's my favorite figure I'll give him an 8 out of 10 yes I really love this figure very much so this is end of review. Thank you all for watching. This is Lucy05 signing off.